Now, as we can see here, there is already a Masharath Ya Allah of ISUPK. So he's saying he's ISUPK and he's Masharath Ya Allah. So what a name is distinguishing is that. Does it make sense to you that the same exact organization is going to give two members the same exact name without having anything else? This content is the property of Put It Out There TV, also known as PIOT TV, a property of the House of Yasha Allah El Trust. If you are viewing and or listening to this content on a non-PIOT TV branded platform, then we kindly ask that you stop and flag this content for copyright infringement. Thank you. With Shannon being licensed to carry a concealed weapon at the state of Ohio, Shine appearing to be the aggressor in a part of the west side where Williams is on the public record for residing, it is very possible Williams was hoping the Castle Doctrine would be a benefit to him if he would happen to shoot and kill Alan T. Shine and receive criminal charges. Shine just so happened to record and publish a video to Facebook of himself traveling to Williams' location on the 500 block of Bell Avenue, Elyria, Ohio, to fight Williams. You don't get to see the fight due to Shine having to put his phone down on the ground to fight. What can be heard in the background of the video is a raucous, talking from other unidentified parties and then a gunshot. The only injury Shine sustained appears to be a bite on his right forearm in the image below. Under the Ohio Castle Doctrine, a gun owner can use force to defend themselves against an intruder who is forcing their way or has already forced their way into their home or automobile. Not only that, but in Ohio, if someone uses deadly force and self-defense in their justification, the burden of proof is no longer on them. Keep that in mind, Ohio. Okay. So needless to say, Shine and Williams did meet up on Bell Avenue, Larry, Ohio. They fought. Williams is alleged to have fired off one gunshot and alleged to have bitten Shine. We are not sure if the gunshot was fired due to Williams feeling his life was in extreme danger. You got the image of the bite mark injury that was alleged to be sustained by Alan T. Shine from uh, Shannon Williams. Alan T. Shine. Okay, so it goes on further to say, unfortunately for Shannon Williams, according to the police report, he was arrested and received four criminal charges. Those four criminal charges being possession of controlled substances, which is a felony five, Ohio Revised Code 2925.11C1, improper handling firearms in a motor vehicle, which is a misdemeanor of fourth degree, Ohio Revised Code 2913.16, discharging firearms, misdemeanor four, ordinance 549.12, possession of marijuana, minor misdemeanor, Ohio Revised Code 2925.11C3. So, Masharat Ya'Allah, in fact, uh, in fact, ended up incurring some criminal charges. Now, here is where we go into the opinion portion of all of this. Um, um, or I guess you could say opinion, right? Watching things from the point of view of where I saw them from on Facebook, it was obvious that what Shannon was trying to do was to set up Alan T. Shine to appear as an aggressor so that he can shoot him and legally get off by killing him and at the same time get street cred for this gangster dope dealing methamphetamine using abusing pimping gangster rap Hebrew Israelite character Masharath Ya Allah. And this is what makes it so bad because he's literally, look, running around here saying he's an Israelite, a member of the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, right? Uh, uh, advocating for all this 
gangsterism, pimping, cocaine usage. Um, he's been arrested for having meth. He's a meth addict. According to the police, he's a meth addict. At the same time, um, misrepresenting ISUPK when there is already a brother out there by the name of Masharath Ya'ala. Masharath Ya'ala, that is a member of ISUPK. So I wonder how he would feel about having some charlatan who's saying he is Masharath Ya'ala, saying he is of the Israelite Universal School of Practical Knowledge, at the same time advocating and being an abuser of pink powder, methamphetamines, right? Okay. Now, as we can see here, there is already a Masharath Ya'ala of ISUPK. So, he's saying he's ISUPK and he's Masharath Ya'ala. So, what a name is distinguishing is that does it make sense to you that the same exact organization is going to give two members the same exact name without having anything else to distinguish them? No, that's because there's only one real Masharath Ya'ala of ISUPK, and it is not this charlatan here. It's not this, this, this charlatan over here, um, you know. You see, look at that. All right. So as we can see, he wants us to think that he's the Hebrew Israelite. Amasharath Ya'ala of ISUPK. All right. I think they may want to check that out because I don't know if this officer Masharath over here has got caught with methamphetamines. Methamphetamines. 